Good evening to all YouTube subscribers from Justin Fleming. I'm here to give all of you my review on today's um, Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful. It's um, Happy Monday and Happy Martin Luther King Day to all of you. Um, it's Monday, January 15, 2018. And I'm here to give all of you my review on today's Bold and, you know, Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful. Happy, um, hope all of you had a good weekend. Here's my read all of you my little review. I'm going to start with Young and the Restless first, then Bold and Beautiful next. At Crimson Lights, Ashley learns that Paul doesn't have new information on the break-in. Ashley hasn't figured out which chemicals are gone since they weren't cataloged yet. Catalog yet. She wants the culprit locked up. In their club suite, Dina asks Graham, what's he doing with all the drugs? Dina Graham, Graham suggests a walk and brings the bag with a vials along. In the dining room, Nikki updates Victoria on Reed and Vicky warns her mother about taking issue with how she raises her son again. Nikki apologizes that things got so intense and asks what or who put the smile on Victoria's face. Vicky laughs about Johnny and Katie being at Billy and Phyllis, Phyllis and Billy's. Before talks turns to JT, Vicky short shares they're, they're more in sync than she, than she thought she'll ever thought they'll, they'd be. <laughs> Nick arrives at Sharon's place to pick up Faith for school and greets Mariah. He's surprised to see Kathy and her kids appear. Nick pulls Sharon aside to claim she's putting Faith and Mariah at risk. Sharon says Kathy's harmless and offers for Faith to stay with him and Chelsea for a few months, a few days. Nick looks concerned and she writes that she can't abandon a fellow mom in crisis. At Chancellor Mansion, Kane has something shocking to tell Billy and JT. He's going to Paris and plans to leave Billy in charge of Chancellor, Chancellor Billy and goes to Russell, a, Russell up a celebrity omelet. And Kane asks JT to keep an eye on Billy. In a moment alone, Billy senses JT got lucky last night and wants details. Spill it. Kane appear, reappears along with the twins. Billy leaves for the office and Kane tells the twins he's going away and leaving with them with JT. Maddie deduces her father's going to Paris and feels it's a, it's a disaster in the making. Charlie's irritated. Kane shares that he believes Lily's open and reconciling. Maddie's scared people will get hurt again. After Kane says goodbye to Sam and the twins see him off. At the park, Graham is about to dump the bag of vials in, in, the, in the trash. And when Nick appears, he introduces himself to Dina, who doesn't know him. Then notices Graham snatched the bag away from Dina. Graham explains their medications. Nick suggests he makes sure she takes him if she hurts his family again. They'll have an issue. After Nick goes, Graham Luke tosses the bag in the trash. Mariah counters Tessa at the office in, in the coffee, coffee house and learns they have, they're having trouble with writing lyrics. Tessa misses bouncing ideas off her. They chat. And Tessa tells Mariah she looked good on her last segment on the Hillary Hour. Mariah rushes off. On the patio, Ashley takes a call from Graham, inviting her to the club to the club to spend time with Dina. She dubs it in a phony maneuver, wow. but agrees to come. Come later. Nikki is upset when Nick tells her about Sharon taking in homeless people when she leaves to straighten her out. At Newman, JT asks Victoria, "What about what was last night?" Victoria doesn't know. They agree. They agree it left it left leave it to leave unable to form words. Neither neither of them told anyone, but and but and they both feel nothing can compare to last night. They decide to move on and take it for what's what it was before having sex on the, sex on the desk. Next one. Ashley arrives at in Dina's suite and learns she believes Graham is taking her on a cruise. Graham explains he's not in her her belief 
belief he's a pharmaceutical salesman is a delusion is, is also a delusion from the Alzheimer's. Next, Dina thinks Ashley is from housekeeping. Graham wipes away a tear as Ash looks skeptical. They sit down and eat, and Graham asks Ashley to reach, the, reach into the mini fridge for his hypodermic needle and insulin. He's diabetic. Ash does so, and then he decides, decides it was a mistake. She can put him back. She can put him back. Back. Graham grins to himself as she places them back inside, leaving her fingerprints on them. Graham insists she she has ultra altruistic intentions where Dean is concerned, but Ashley isn't buying it. She feels the only part of his vows he meant were until death do his part, and warns him to adjust his ex expectations. Graham calls her calls her a selfish little bitch and vows her family will win. Ash knocks there is only one selfish little bitch here, and she's looking at him. Once alone, Graham places the hyperdunic noodle in a baggie. In Sharon's house, um, she senses Mariah's in a mood. Mariah rambles about messing up everything in her life, observing that adulting is hard. Sharon's happy to hear that she's journaling and assures her she's going places. Later, Nikki arrives and is surprised when Kathy opens the door. Nikki assures her that she won't press any charges from their encounter at Christmas and tells her she was lucky to be seen, lucky to be taken in someplace special. Mariah and Sharon appear. When Mariah and Kathy go to the kitchen, Sharon, Nikki embraces Sharon, who is amazed when he calls her a guardian, Asian, guardian angel. Nikki muses she may be up for a new challenge. Now let me give all of you my review on today's um, Young the Restless. You know what? I'm I'm sick of this um, Mariah having her obsession with um, Tessa. I mean, it's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, she needs to get over herself. She wants Noah, not her. I mean, she already cheated on Devon last last um, last year in August of 2017. Last August of last year. I mean, um, and she hasn't told Noah about it or Devon about it about the kiss she gave to Tessa. And I, you know, I mean, you know what was really stupid? What was really stupid was Victoria and JT. It was really stupid. I mean, I mean, I, I really hate. I mean, I don't know. I hope I got a good, real feeling. Um, they're going to be back together again. And um. And I thought Graham said Dina only wanted to visit um, with Ashley. So why is Ashley and Graham breaking bed alone? No Dina? Why would Ashley stray without Dina being present? The reason for her to visit, the reason for her visit in the first place. I mean, this setup is is really dumb. I mean, even Ray Charles can scam it, can um, see the scam from a mile away. This trick. See, Graham is, thinks he's fooling somebody, but he's not fooling anyone else. Now, let me get to to um, next one. Um, um, today is bold and beautiful. Beautiful. Today's bold and beautiful. I know some base bold and beautiful. Um, was kind of uh, was. I know some of you think it was, it was sad, but I love. But I love. But I loved it today. I know all of you saw the um photo, the history of um Liam and Steffi and, and um and Steffi was shown crying. You know, I'm really glad it's over. I'm really glad glad it's over between them. But let me get to read to all of you my review on today's um young um bold and beautiful. At the Malibu um house, Steffi knows she's asking the impossible, but she wants Liam to try to forgive her and raise their baby together. She presses that they have they have a chance to give their child better than they had. She doesn't want to co-parent and pass their child back and forth. Liam reiterates that all that all he ever wanted was a family with her. They can't put this behind him. His perception of her has permanently changed. 
What's did, what Steffi did is a scar that won't go away, and Liam doesn't see that changing. Liam declares that they will parent their child, but he has made a decision about how it has to be. As Steffi pleads, he, um, he removes his wedding rings and produces annulment papers. He proposes coming up with a parenting plan, and she sobs, no, and begs him not to do this. All right, Steffi does. She, Steffi doesn't get it. She really doesn't get it. I mean, what part, Steffi? What part of you should have thought that before, when you slept with it, with it, with his dad? Don't you not get? It's over. You you don't get it. What part of you should have thought that before when you slept with his father? Don't you not get? It? It's over. You keep on. You keep on saying you want to want to forgive him. But it's not going to work. It's over. He's done with you. Now, um, Liam says he, he, does, he didn't want any of this and assures her he'll be a wonderful mother. She'll be a wonderful mother and they'll make parenting work, but not a marriage. They'll never regret their time together and remember and will all remember all the good times. Steffi is left sobbing and is holding the annulment papers as Liam stands outside. Yep. I'm really glad it's over. It's over. The end of the era. Bye, Steen. You won't be missed. And Steffi, you can go ahead and cry all you want. Because you brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself. You had this coming. You really had this coming. And Liam, I'm really glad to Liam. No, I'm really glad. And Liam, you made the right decision. You made the right choice leaving. So and, and, and Steffi, you know what, Steffi, Liam Wright made the right choice leaving you for good. You threw away your own marriage to Liam away. And so you, you, got Steffi, got to suffer the consequences. What goes around comes around. The next one, um, in Forrester Creations, Hope informs Sally she'll be there for Liam whatever he needs. Sally wonders if she, she's, she expected this, but Hope insists he's not, he's not why she's, she came back. She didn't know Liam and Steffi were having problems and figures out, figures they'll work it out. Well, Hope, they didn't work it out. They broke up. Their marriage is over. They're split. She said, and she, or she says they'll work it out. They, they always do. Sally notes the issue was very private. Liam didn't want to talk about it. They marvel over his decision to leave Spencer. Hope, Hope feels, feels Bill must be livid. Sally recalls that Liam just seemed to have lost his spirit. Hope wants to know where he's staying. But Sally's afraid of upsetting him by divulging the information. Hope su suspects there's more to it. And asks if Sally had an affair with Liam. The redhead denies it. Liam is loyal and he wouldn't pursue another woman. Though even if he did, she liked to be that woman. As Sally goes on, Hope realizes she has feelings for Liam. Sally maintains she doesn't want his marriage to end, but if she does, she'll be the one to make, make sure he's alright. You know what? I can say this. Sally, go for it. Go for it, Sally. Go with Liam. And Hope, uh-uh. No way, Hope. Sorry. Find yourself another guy. Go with Carter. Because you've been with Liam for long enough. Way long enough. Now, um, I know I, re I really, I, I hope, yeah, I, re I really do hope, um, Liam and Sally will get together. But I don't know why the writers were so stupid to write off um, the fact that um, Tom's not knowing about Caroline's lies because of Bill's manipulation. I don't know why they write that off. I don't know what. I don't know if uh, if um, they're ever going to get um, get a Thomas recast. See, I like. See, I like the reason why I like. Um, see, I, I see that they, they, Sally had a lot of chemistry with um, with, with Thomas. 
she did. She really did have some chemistry with Thomas, but um, I really wish they recast him, recast Thomas. I, I would leap, but but um, I really do hope that Liam Sally. But if Thomas does come back, I really want to see him back with um with Sally, because Liam and Sally being being close together was part of Bill's manipulation to drive a wedge between him and Sally. To, and for Thomas to get with Caroline because of his lies about Caroline's dying. I don't know if Thomas is going to be recast. You know, and you know what? You know what ho I hope, please, no, I really do. I hope the writers do not put Liam back with Hope because I want Hope to be with another with another man. Put her with um, Carter. Yeah, Carter. Carter is fine. Yeah, Carter can be comparable with um, par Carter comparable with um, with Hope, because over the years there have been a lot of interracial relationships on the Bold and Beautiful. It worked with Usher, um, with that other girl Amber. It worked with um, Marcus with Steffi, and it also worked with um, Justin and Donna. So. And it also in, in the in, look and look. There's also another in, in Rick and Maya. Rick and Maya. They're the they're the um they're 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 the um they're in the, they're, they're, they're an interracial couple. That's another one, Rick and Maya. So how about if you if the writers can put Carter and Hope as a couple? I know it's a, yeah, put yeah, Carter, Carter and Hope would be just fine. So it's so Hope, Hope can needs to should, should leave Liam, be with Sally, and she can be with Carter, because I know a lot of you know there's a lot of interracial couples on on um, Bold and Beautiful. Because look at Rick and Maya. I know some of you agree. So I really do hope that Liam does not go back with Hope. They're old news. They're like they're like past history. Just put just put put her with, with Carter. But Carter is trying is is um is being get um getting his head on Maya and stuff. She's he he's starting like the, um he wants um Maya back. But I know some of the writers say they're gonna say they want Rick and Nicole as a couple. But it's really stupid. So that's my little review for all of you on today's Young the Restless and Bold and Beautiful. All you can do is subscribe me, Justin Flaming. I can do any kind of review for all of you on Young the Restless and Bold and Beautiful. All you can do is subscribe me, Justin Flaming. Hit like, make a comment in my video. Have a good evening and have a happy um, Martin Luther King Day to all of you. Have a good afternoon. Peace. I'm out of here.